Okay, question number 14 from the P2 International A-Level textbook, chapter 8 review, page 171. Uh, question number 14, as I said. Now, this question here, um, the first part of it is about the trapezium rule. And the, 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 the interesting thing about this question, the important thing about this question, the reason why I'm answering it, at this last minute stage before your exam. A student requested it, that's one thing, and I try to answer the questions if I can. Um, and secondly, um, the last part of this question is really important. It's a new style that's being asked. And I've got a few questions from the specimen papers and stuff like this, but I thought it would be good for us to go through this. Anyway, so we have one equals five over x squared plus one. So first we got to use the trapezium rule to find the missing value of y to three decimal places. Because right now you don't know how to integrate something like this, okay, in the stage that we got to. So we can't find the area between zero and uh, three under this curve, okay, um, by using integration, because we don't know how to integrate this right now, okay? So we have to use a way to approximate it, which is by using the trapezium rule. So basically here we have a table already set up for us and they've got the values of x of y when x is 0, when x is 0 0.5, when x is 1, x is 1.5, x is 2, x is 2.5. So you've basically got, this. these are the ordinates, you've got 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 different trapeziums that are going to be formed in here. Okay, so the 6 different trapeziums, all right. Um, we don't really need to know that because the tables, we, we have the table. We can see that the distance between uh, the, the parallel sides of the trapeziums, because these will be the parallel sides, these lines that make up, you know, when you do this, it's going to be like, that's where 0.5 is, and that's where that's where one's going to be, and so on. And that's where two's going to be over here, and so on, whatever. That's going to be 1.5, 2, so you have 0, 0 0.5, 1, 1 1.5, all the way until you get to 3. So basically, you'll have these trapeziums formed, which are approximately the area under the curve. Of course, they won't be the same. There's going to be bits that are sticking out when it's opening downwards and bits that are sticking up when it's opening upwards. So it's not going to be, uh, you know, exactly the right area, but it will give us an approximate, something that's approximately the area, okay, because we don't know how to integrate the thing. Anyway, let's just move on then. So basically, what we can say here is that um, we need to find these missing values here, here and here, okay? And in order to find those missing values, okay, I need to substitute this x value into the, into the equation for y. So basically I've got to put instead of x 1.5, so I'll set it up like this, 5 over x squared, so we've got 1.5 squared, okay, and plus 1. That's going to give us 20 over 13. And they have rounded them up. Oh, they've told us to use three decimal places. So this is going to be 1.538. 1.538. Okay, now, uh, I think a very good idea is if you actually take one of the values that they already take, we already know the values for, for example, if we take something like, say, uh, 3. So that's going to be 5 over 3 squared plus 1. It gives us 0 0.5. So we can see we're doing the right thing. Okay, we just now, instead of the 3, I replace it with the 1.5. We'll be sure that we're on the right thing. Now I've got 2.5 to put in there. And that gives us 20 over 29 which is 0 0.6896, so that's 0 0.690, 0 0.6, because they want it to three decimal places, 0 0.690. I mean, that's how they want it. And what I would have done if they didn't specify that is I would have actually taken these to their values, 20 over 29. I would have left them as, a, as an exact fraction and used that. That would give me a more accurate answer, but no problem. Okay, now... It's telling us to uh, now use the trapezium rule. So basically what we're doing when, the, when we're using the trapezium rule is we're finding the area under the curve. So we are basically finding the area of all of these trapeziums. 
So the area of the trapezium is going to be, oh, so that's part A. We want to do part B, which is using the trapezium rule. So yeah, okay. So the area is going to be the distance between the parallel sides, which is the distance between the x value, so it's 0 0.5, okay, divided by 2, okay, times the sum of the parallel sides. Now, some of the parallel sides are used in only one triangle, like the first and the last, only using the first and the last trapezium. But the ones in between are using both trapeziums, in two trapeziums. This is using this and this, this one is using that and that, this one is using that and that, and so on. So this last one is only used in the last trapezium. The first ordinate is only used in the first trapezium, but all the rest are used in two trapeziums, so you've got to multiply them by two when you use them in this formula. So I'm going to have five, which is the first, um, added to 0 0.5, which is the last, and added to two times the sum of the others. So it's two times four plus 2.5 plus 1.538 plus one, plus 0 0.690 and that will give me an approximation of the area so that's approximate area okay so let me just stick that in the calculator then and see what we get so we're going to have 0 0.5 over 2 that's 0 0.25 times so I can just put my bracket here and I'll have 5 plus oops plus 0 0.5 plus 2 times 4 plus 2.5 plus 1.538 plus 1 plus 0 0.690. Close the bracket and close the other bracket. So you had two brackets there. So one bracket is for when we did two times that and one bracket is for where we had, yeah, so there's two brackets to close. So you end up with 6239 over 1000, which is 6.239. 6.239 square units. Okay, so there we have the, the answer for part B. Okay, then it says use your answer from part B to find an approximate value for the integral of this. Okay, so now, okay, so now I've got the equation that we found the area under between those values. Okay, so uh, by the way, this answer, I mean, I guess they didn't mention three decimal places or three, three anything. So we could, if they didn't mention anything, it's best really to write it to three, 6.24 square units, to 3SF. If something's not mentioned, it's best to write it to 3SF. They only mentioned three, three significant, three decimal places for the, the values in the table, okay? So best, I guess, is to write this as 6.24. Okay, it didn't state anything, so it's, it's not a big problem. Anyway, it says, use your answer from part B to find an approximate value for the integral between zero and three of four plus five over x squared plus one with respect to x. So now, see what we just did up here. We used this, we basically found an, an approximate value for the integral of 5 over x squared plus 1, okay, whoops, okay, with respect to x. We found an approximate value for this. The trapezium rule is, um, you know, basically giving us an approximate value for this between 0 and 3. So we found that that is 26.239, 6.239, okay, the more precise version of it, okay. So we know what that approximate area for that is. But what we've been asked to do is to find, so what we know is, is that the area that we know between 0 and 3, okay, between 0 and 3, with respect to x, integral of that, we have the approximate area, which is this area we found, 6.239, 6.239. Okay, now what we're asked to find is something which is that looks similar. And what you can do when you have an integral like this, you can split them up into parts. So I can say this is the same as the integral of between 0 and 3 of 4 with respect to x plus the integral of between 0 and 3 of 5 over x squared plus 1 with respect to x. Now, I don't know how to integrate this, but I know it's approximate value, which is 6 Point two three nine. That's the, using the answer from part B. You see, but I do know how to integrate. 
I do know how to integrate this. Now when I integrate this, I'm going to get 4x and I have my definite integral. So I've got to put inside there uh, 3 and 0. Okay, 3 and 0. So what's that going to give me? Well, that's going to give me 4 times 3, which is 12, minus 0. So that will be 12 plus 6.239. So that approximate area we're looking for is 18.239, which to 3SF will be 18.2 square, oops, 18.2 square units. Sorry, my pen keeps disappearing. Can't see where it is. Okay, so there we have the answer to that question. I hope that was clear and understandable.